Hi, and welcome to video number 32, or is it 31? Let's say 32. Today I'm going to do a bike test. This bike test is pretty simple. We're going to start with a 15 minute warm up, just to warm up the body, get ready to test. Then a 30 minute effort, as hard as it can go. And these numbers, the numbers based on the test, will give me my, help me define my targets from upcoming Ironman. This is not that hard of a workout. The hardest part is just staying mentally uh, focused and uh, focused on what I'm doing. I'm looking forward to do it. I'm actually looking forward to do it because it's not like three or four hour or five hour of biking. It's only 30 minutes. So you can do anything for 30 minutes. Okay, I'll check back in in a bit and let you know how the test went. Okay, so it's over. The test is over. I think it went pretty good. Uh, it was a little windy out, a little windier than I expected, but uh, turned out to be a, a good effort. I gave a good push. And what I'm going to do now is just go to my uh, training peaks and see how I did. Because when I was doing the test, I wasn't looking at uh, the data. I kind of knew where to turn around. And once I knew that point, I turned on the, the time display. And then I might, oh, I have seven more minutes to go. So that just allowed me to turn around, get focused, and then watch the clock count down. But I didn't watch heart rate or, or power. So right now, I'm just going to pull it up and see how I did. It's kind of exciting. The camera ran out of memory space, which is kind of funny. Um, the result of the test, if you're curious, ended up to be this. My average power was 249 watts for the 30 minutes. My heart rate was 171. And, you know, I, I, I think that's a pretty good test. And I always compare myself to the previous Ironman, you know, the test that I did. And I go, well, how was it last year? Am I better? Am I worse? Or, you know what? So this year I was 249. Last year I was 151. So basically exactly the same. And then I thought to myself, well, you know what, maybe I'm lighter. So maybe my power to weight ratio is better this year, right? So maybe it's better. And you know what, weight's pretty much the same thing too. So where I'm sitting at right now, le leading to my Ironman, the swim is the same, bike is the same, run is the same. So I'm basically the same fitness that I was going into 2017 as I am 2018. Which is, you know, it's a good thing, right? I mean, you don't want to be going into the race less. But, you know, sometimes you like to go into it feeling like you're in better shape. And I I think, I think you know what, last year that I have to remember is that it was a good Ironman. So I went in there and I had one of my best races ever. So I think the fact that I'm at the same numbers as last year, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Tomorrow... I have planned a 90 minute run. So that's the last longish run uh, until uh, Ironman. And then on the weekend, we have Chaparral Olympic distance, which is really just a, let's test it all out and then see how, how everything's working and not gonna, not gonna kill it. Just have a nice, steady, smooth race before Ironman. So that's it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow in video number 33. This is Coach Todd saying thank you very much and happy training. See you later.